That's what you should be asking for. Take a vote, stop this farce, and end this shutdown right now. President Obama taking his case to Rockville in a push for a budget deal. Less than an hour ago, the president pointed to a local business as an example of who's losing out during this government shutdown. And even more trouble could be ahead. Just this morning, the Treasury Department warned about an upcoming showdown on the debt limit, predicting the country could plunge into a recession if it defaults on its obligations. As for the shutdown, House Republicans are moving forward with a bill to fund some popular programs instead of a full budget deal. But both sides say they're still deadlocked over the health care law. Brianne Carter has the latest. It's day three and still no deal. The shutdown showdown between Democrats and Republicans has frustration climbing to a fever pitch. It's a circus and it's very sad. The chaos on the Hill is already affecting the economics of some local businesses. Brian Hill owns B&B Paving in Montgomery County. He says his small company, which depends on federal workers, is already hurting. We generally run, I would say, 15 to 20 estimates, Bethesda, Chevy Chase, Potomac area and stuff. A week, we've got one phone call this week. This morning, President Barack Obama addressed that issue. He came here to this Rockville construction company to talk about the impact on small businesses just like Hills. M. Louise Construction is a family-run business and over the past few years has grown to 250 employees. The business has been thriving and is getting ready to open a fourth office. But this morning, President Obama said the Republican recklessness could harm that. Companies like this one, worried that their businesses are going to be disrupted because obviously particularly in an area like maryland virginia where there are a lot of federal workers you don't know how that's going to impact the economy president obama says the answer is simple congress needs to pass a budget with no partisan strings attached but members of the house appear to be looking at funding portions of the government we are going to go forward uh, with trying to address situations uh, that are in critical stages. Brian Hill hopes soon something will change. It's time to stop playing and let's uh, let's get down to business. I mean, the country's at, at stake here. In Rockville, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News. Well, so many federal workers are accepting the free burgers at Z Burger. The owner says it could put him out of business. The owner says he's given away more than $60,000 worth of free food. So today will be the last day he's offering that promotion. The deal runs until 1 o'clock this afternoon and then again from 5 to 7. You'll need to show your government ID. Hundreds of